You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sick? I just want to give my old lady a facelift with a car jack. Pearl just about had it with me in my pickup truck. She said last night, Earl, that's the last time I ride in that truck bed. It's embarrassing. I feel like a fool and I got soaked in the rain. And I said, Pearl, you didn't want your groceries getting wet, did you? She said, it's that pickup truck or me, Earl Pitts. I only wish it was that simple. See, fact is, women and pickup trucks don't get along so well. And if the truth be told, the reason women in pickup trucks don't get along so well is they're a lot more alike than they like to admit. Like if, if you was looking for a used one with a few miles but still has a great body, woman or truck, they're both real hard to find. And if you walked into a bar and you yelled out, Hey boys, want to see my new pickup? Or, Hey boys, want to see my new woman? Whether you talk about either one of them, everybody'd want to go take a look. And a good truck is like a good woman. They purr like kittens when you start them up. But they'll haul tons of garbage around the house without whining. Notice I said, good woman there. Come think of it, I think it Pearl's problem with my truck is, I think she's jealous. She was crying last night when she was peeling off them wet clothes. She said, Earl, you love that truck more than you love me. And I said, well, Pearl. It's easier to start on cold mornings. Wake up, America! You show me a man who's happy and content at home, and I'll show you a man with a 4x4 parked in the driveway. Big old tires on it. Bigger the tires, happier he is. I'm Earl Pitts, American Pizza. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sick? I just want a French kiss EJ's electric pencil sharpener. It's all these green with envy, wide load housewives that look down on your more well-built roads. Yeah, like the other night, that it don't get better than this beer commercial comes on the tube. You know where that Swedish bikini team's out there in the Rockies or somewhere? Right off. Pearl starts whining and squawking about how these blondes is dressed to look cheap. And they just there to trigger male hormones. And how they severe lack of clothing ain't very practical for the harsh outdoors. She said she's seen them real female hiker tops on the National Geographic. And they always wear long pants, jackets, boots, and gloves. Not bikinis and high heels. So I give it to her straight. I said, Pearl... Fact is, them sexy babes ain't sleazy at all. They just useful, kind of like a fine-tuned Swiss Army knife. Them sweet things ain't got no extra baggage. Everything's in its place and has a purpose, too. Like, let's say I get lost in the middle of God's green wilderness, and I'm cold, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. Well, who better to have along with me than one of them chicks from them beer commercials? Because first off, I'm sure she could keep me warm and help bring out my animal instincts a bit. Better yet, they always toting a six-pack with them. You know she's got a spare cigarette squeezed down between that cleavage. But what about food? Well, no problem. See, I'd just strip them fishnet stockings off her, and I'd drift net catch me a few fish in the stream. Or I could use her spike hill to crack open a coconut. Wake up, America! But I won't be lost for long, I'll tell you right now. Them big earrings and them red-hot lips flashing in the sun, so that would signal airplanes overhead, and I'd be rescued in no time. Whether I wanted to or not, I'm our old pizza American pizza. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sick? I just want to boil down Roseanne Bar and use the grease to oil the wheels of a hundred-car coal train. My old lady Perry wants to blame everybody else but herself for her problems. So last night after supper, she wants to walk around the block, but she's too cold. I said, why don't you wear that sweater I bought you for Christmas last year? She says she can't wear that sweater out because it makes her look fat. Uh-huh. 
For you logical thinking Americans, the sweater don't make her look fat. The fact that she eats a pig makes her look fat. Don't blame a sweater that a woman got the willpower of a walrus. And then later, she's messing with herself in the bathroom mirror, and I said, Pearl, why don't you get your hair cut the way it was when we first got married? She had good-looking hair when we got married. She said, she can't wear her hair like that no more because it makes her face look fat. I said, baby, your face is fat. Hell, you could be bald-headed. Your face would still look like a couch pillar with eye holes. See, your women can't face up to admitting that they don't all look like centerfold models. It's always the fault of the clothes. Now, men, we ain't got that problem. I go to bar last night, my old buddy Dub Meekers, showing off a brand new jacket. I said, Dub, won't you wear that new jacket you bought last year? He said, he can't wear that no more because he's too fat. Because he's too fat to her, see? Bless his soul. Wake up, America! You mirror-ignoring she-hogs out there what says clothes make you look bad. It ain't the clothes! I'm Earl Pitts, I'm a Reagan. Pitts off.